So I've currently just finished doing some video editing and now I'm gonna set up this new product. Look at this, it's the Nokia 3310. Well that is very, very cool. That's brought back some memories. I certainly didn't expect to see Twitter on there, although I did know that Snake was pre-installed. The journey with the Nokia 3310 starts now. Hello, everybody. Now, I'm not sure what you're gonna think of this video, but I ordered three new hats. And I ordered these thinking it was a safe bet because they're from one of my favorite brands. They're from Burberry. And these were a collaboration. It's either pronounced Gosha or Gosha. I think it's Gosha in collaboration with Burberry. And well, let me just show you. Hat number one, this is a duckbill hat or cap. What's wrong with the position of these ear flaps? What's going on there? Hat number two. This is a baseball cap. I like the little dimple on top. The ear flaps are in the right position, but I'm still not sure it suits me. It feels a little bit too big and is exactly the same size as the duckbill cap. And then last but not least, probably the best one of the three. This is again a baseball cap in the blue check color. Again, the nice little dimple on the top ear flaps which are removable. Let me show you. But I'm still not sure that these suit me at all and they're not that cheap. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of my new caps. Oh, and I almost forgot, I tell you something that Burberry do very well and that is the packaging. Inside this box is a pair of Burberry jeans, and these are gonna be featuring over on my other channel, on the Watch Lifestyle channel. I'm gonna be comparing these to a pair of Levi's, so do check that out. It'll be on the channel in about a week's time. This studio light is very, very bright, and in fact, it's so bright that sometimes I find the normal standard lights in the studio too dim now so I turn that on even if I'm just reading. So over the Christmas and New Year period you would have seen some pre-recorded videos on the channel and it gives me an opportunity just to produce something a little bit nicer for you to watch you know not as spontaneous but certainly something a little bit more uh, produced so you will be seeing a lot more of that on the channel but still in the mix are going to be live broadcasts because I love the interaction with you guys. Also today this was delivered, the latest issue of Mac format. And this is probably, well actually is, in fact, the only printed magazine I still get delivered. And I'm super excited when this lands on my doormat because this instantly becomes my weekend read. Now you will have noticed on that front cover of Mac format was in fact the iPhone 10. And one of the things I get commented most on my videos is I will go back to iOS, well, never say never, or indeed, I'm using the iPhone 10 as my daily driver. That couldn't be further from the truth. I'm still using the OnePlus 5T, but I'm also going to be testing another Android smartphone very soon, and it's a mid-range smartphone, and I'll be revealing that in a future video. Now also, don't judge me, but I just wanted to show you this. It's getting very thin, but I'm not giving up. In fact, I am planning on not cutting my hair super short. I'm going to see how it grows out a little bit just to see if I can get that brush over. Now apart from having an amazing amount of editing to do you're going to see a trend here because I had another couple of deliveries and the first one is this. It's another Funko. Yep it is Harley Quinn one of the rock candy Funko figurines and also I picked up Batgirl now the trend is I'm really liking the rock candy figurines because there's so much more detail.
I think the collection is looking absolutely fantastic. Let me know which your favourite Funko is down in the comments section below. I'll see you next time.